So this is the startup page for the Android box. As you can see, there's quite a few tiled options here. If you go in here and have a look at the apps you've got, you've got all sorts in here. You've got Gmail, Google, Maps, Chrome browser, music player, picture player, YouTube, and XBMC, which I'll come to in a second. Aptoid is similar to the Apple App Store. It gives you access to a marketplace where you can download free apps. So if we come out of this folder, scroll along and have a look at the games folder. Any games that you download from the app, Aptoid App Store will appear in here. Currently there's Angry Birds, which comes already installed. Next up is the video chat screen. You can plug in a USB webcam and use Skype from this window. Moving along, you've got the settings box. Now in here, you can control all the settings for the box. So you've got Bluetooth, Ethernet, you've got your display, uh, apps, sound, etc. Data usage is very clever. It tells you what storage your apps are using, so how much of the disk space the apps are using. Next, if we have a look at the internet browsing capabilities, as you can see, there's lots of shortcuts already on here. If we choose Wikipedia, just choose to browse it using Chrome. See, just like using it on a PC. Have a look at Google. Again, looks exactly like it does on a PC. And uh, let's have a look at eBay. You can browse using a, a keyboard or a remote control on this. It's quite fun having it on the big screen in your living room. This folder here shows local content. So if you were to plug in a USB drive or something like that, you'd be able to use this folder to play the music or videos or look at the files. Lastly, we have the online cinema folder. In here, you'll have icons for YouTube, XBMC, and Netflix. 